think it would be better if you spoke in English. The film uh, is based on a play of mine, and it um, centers on an American guy named Matthias, or Matthias, uh, played by Kevin Klein. And he inherit he's kind of down on his luck and indigent and estranged from his wealthy father. He hasn't seen his father in years. And his father dies and he inherits an apartment in Paris that's uh, huge and valuable. And he owes money to everyone he's ever known and goes to Paris to liquidate the apartment. He finds an old lady and her daughter living in the apartment, the old lady being Maggie Smith and the daughter being Kristen Scott Thomas. This apartment is a Vierge. Uh. The buyer must pay a fee until the seller dies. Until you die? Until I die. I think the, uh, the initial impulse to write that play was very superficial. I, I have, I've had like 50 of my plays translated and produced in France. And I, want, I knew I wanted to write something that was like a love letter to France, saying thank you for giving me my French life. My, my father was a truck driver. I'm from a little town in Massachusetts. So it was really extraordinary for me to. And then, then at some point in, when I was about 28, a play of mine called Indian Wants the Bronx uh, was done at the Spoleto Festival. And a Swiss French actress came up to me and said, would you like to meet Samuel Beckett? Because he'd like to meet you. And when my heart started beating again, I said yes. And we met in Paris on a Tuesday, and I was supposed to uh, have a half hour conversation with him. We sat together for about three hours. He didn't have kids. And at the end of it, I had hair down to here. You know, it was 1968. And I said, do you think we could be friends? He said, oh, I think we are friends. And he. I think in this life we have our fathers of choice and our fathers of chance, and he was definitely my father of choice. What I inherited was a 2,400 euro a month debt. I used the last cent that I had to get here. You get to be 57 and have so little to show for it. Please, don't be subtle with me. I'm 90. Subtlety is not something that interests me. Well, I mean, Ma directing Maggie Smith <laughs> Kristen Scott Thomas and Kevin Klein is like sen telling the sun to give light. It sort of knows that it's supposed to do that. Um, the, the, this, Kevin was the first to come into the cast. And I had seen the play in Russia at Moscow Art Theater. And I don't speak Russian. I was daydreaming. And I started to think, why did I write this thing? And uh, I realized there, was, there were three actors in a room talking, that there was no France on, on stage. And so I started to daydream the movie, really. And at the end of the play, uh, uh, I said to my wife, I, I think I'm going to make a movie now, also based on the play. And also, I knew I was going to turn 75. And I wanted to do something that was scary, because I've had 70 plays produced and you know, 75 plays produced or something like that. And I wanted to do something that was terrifying, actually, and I thought directing a movie would be terrifying. So the two things converged. I'm looking to sell. There's only one problem. See that old lady? She lives there. Uh, this is not good. <laughs> She's 90. Not so bad. Well, I, uh, one thing I can say without hesitation is they're, they're going to see great acting. They're really, it's, it, it's uh, I'm blessed with an amazing cast. and. When I was a young guy, I was uh, close with Sidney Lumet. And I remember a conversation we had about film directing versus stage directing. And he said, you cast the best actors on the planet for those roles and then stay out of their way. And that, that really echoed you know, in my memory uh, with those actors because I felt inadequate until we got started. I thought, oh my god, they deserve better than me. I've never, you know. <laughs> How am I going to do this? And of course, once we started, it was clear that they're all theater actors. So it was just like what I've been doing for the last 50 years. And it was so comfortable. And, and it was really, really, really fun. Here are the French people! So for uh, this apartment, I had nothing. You have life. There is no greater wealth. <laughs> do you want my mother to outlive you? <laughs> Take a walk by the sand. Please don't jump in. You probably fail to drown yourself and just end up with a dreadful cold. 